Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, given that rho s is equal to 6xy coulombs per meter square, calculate the total charge on the triangular region in figure 4.25. Here we have the figure and also we have the triangular region. Since we have the charge density, we can directly calculate the total charge using this formula. Q is equal to integral over surface of the charge density with respect to the surface, okay? So this is the equation we are going to use to find out the charge. Now we have to know the limits of integration in order to do this one. So first of all, in order to calculate the limits of integration, we can look at the equation of these lines. First of all, you can see this, this line right here. This is going from 0, 0 to 2. We are talking about this line. So here you can see this point is where this is 0, 0 and this is 2, 2. So from this one you can see like 0, 0 and when it's 1 it's going to be 1, when it's 2 it's going to be 2. So the slope is increasing like m is 1, right? The line is a, a like plus 1 line. So the equation is going to be y is equal to x. So this is going to be the direct equation, okay? From this one you can see. And for this one, this line, we have to find the equation. To find that one we can use the line formula y is equal to mx plus c you can use this formula to calculate the equation of this one too but since it's straightforward that's why i directly put y is equal to x but if you put it in this equation you will get the same results y is equal to mx plus b now first we can find out the m using this formula m can be calculated using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now let's pick up the points this is 0 0 2 2 and this is what this is 4 0 now we are looking for the equation of the this line right here because we know the, the equ equation of this line is y is equal to x we have to find the equation of this line so we have to pick up the point here so we have to pick up 2 comma 2 and 4 comma 0 now we are going to use this point to calculate the slope y2 minus y1 y2 is what 0 minus 2 divided by 4 minus 2 so here you can see negative 2 divided by 2 slope is negative 1 so we found out the slope now we have to find out what is the b values to find that one we can pick up a point and plug it in this equation let's pick up this 4 0 so when x is equal to 4 y is 0 so y is 0 and we found out the slope is negative 1 times x x is here 4 right when y is equal to 0 x is 4 plus b we are trying to find b right so this is going to be 0 is equal to negative 4 plus b therefore b is going to be equal to 4 so from this one we can find the equation of the line y is equal to mx plus b m is negative 1 so negative x b is 4 plus 4 but we want this one in terms of x like we are do we are going to do the integration with respect to y with respect to y first so if the outer integral is y, inner integral is going to be what x. Mm. Let's look at x first because if we do in terms of x, we just have to do this way. You can do any way. You can do the y first or x first. But if you do the x first, this is going to be straight line because since we know the equation of this one and this one, we can choose the x. x is easy in this case, right? So from here y, to, y is equal to x, so in other words we can say x is equal to y because when we do this one we have to write everything in terms of x, x is equal to y and if I turn this one in terms of x this is going to be what negative x is equal to y minus 4 so x is going to be equal to 4 minus y so this is going to be the equation of this x x is equal to 4 minus y so this is going to be the limits of integration in terms of x now for y if we look at this way if we took this one this way y limits is going to be just the outer region like 0 to where it's starting and where it's ending that's 0 to 2 okay so we have the limits of integration for y and limits of integration for x so we can go ahead and plug it in this integral and find out our answer okay now let's go ahead and create our integration double integral and then here we are going to have y outer integral is going to be y y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 y is going from 0 to 2 
and x we are looking at this way x is what first equation of the x line is x is equal to y the, I mean this line right here and then it's ending at this line that line equation is x is equal to 4 minus y and we are going to integrate this charge density that is 6xy coulombs per meter square and if you do the integration you are going to end up with we can separate the like let's integrate okay first we are doing the integration with respect to x so dx dy okay now if we do the integration with respect to x we are going to get 0 to 2 6 y x square divided by 2 y to 4 minus y dy okay dy and then if you plug this 4 minus y you are going to get 0 to 2 6 y 4 minus y square minus y square divided by 2 dy and that's equal to integration 0 to 2 6 y 16 plus y square minus 8 y minus y square divided by 2 dy and if you simplify this one that's going to give us 0 to 2 48 y minus 24 y square 24 y square dy okay so this is what we have right now let's get rid of all of this Okay, so this is the integration we have. Now we are trying to find the charge, right? Q. Now our outer integration is with respect to y. If we do the integration with respect to y, we are going to get 48y squared divided by 2 going from 0 to 2 minus 24y cubed divided by 3 going from 0 to 2. And if you plug the values, you are going to get 48 times 2 minus 24 times 8 over 3 and finally 96 minus 64 that's equal to 32 coulomb so this is going to be our charge and that's how we that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching